In our latest in-depth report on Mississippi's economy, we are taking you to the city of Greenville in the Mississippi Delta. The poorest region in one of the poorest states in the country has been working overtime to flip the script and position itself for an economic boom. Now, 12 News' Richard Lake has more on what those leaders are doing there to ensure that they're included in what the governor has been calling Mississippi's momentum. Right. Richard? That's exactly right, Melanie. You know, the Mississippi Delta faces extremely harsh realities in economic and other opportunities, and the region is still healing very much so from the injustices of slavery and generational poverty. But today, the Mississippi Delta and its people say they're ready to be included in the economy of tomorrow. With some of the worst health care, education, and economic outcomes in the country, the perception of the Mississippi Delta has been largely based off of those realities. This data is something Justin Birch has had to combat when marketing the Delta to outside investments. As director of the Washington County Economic Alliance, he says recognizing what the region has to offer in spite of its challenges is crucial in bringing back economic growth. We don't let the data stigmatize us. We don't let education in the Delta be used as a proxy for skills. And when we're talking about skilled labor, we have some of the best in the country. The recent economic booms in neighboring states, Texas, Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas, oftentimes leave the Deep South with leftovers. Smaller investments have made their way to less tech-centered economies in Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana. Birch says this is changing. The thing that they're lacking is energy generation. They have been siphoned up. So now we're seeing some of those tier two states in the South begin to get some of the economic wins. And I think Mississippi's really bared that out this last year with some major announcements. During the 2024 legislative session, Governor Tate Reeves called two special sessions to allocate hundreds of millions of dollars of state funds into two projects, an electric battery plant in North Mississippi, as well as Amazon in Madison County. Delta lawmakers were quick to point out that the momentum Governor Reeves touts would be felt much greater here in the Delta. Once home to an array of industry, Greenville was once the third largest city in Mississippi. Greenville's past successes have kept the city and its nearly 30,000 residents above water and secured some recent economic wins, mainly due to federal investments but the city has never returned to what once was. You can see the dirt turning. You can see a number of economic development projects. Why not us? If we are creating or contributing to the, the money at the top uh, to send these economic development projects out, why not the person in the Mississippi Delta? This has been a depressed and deprived area for quite some time, and the opportunities are here. This is a jewel that needs to be dusted off and put back in the ring. The exclusion that Delta lawmakers feel from the state and the Mississippi Development Authority is not shared by all Delta players. Amazon happened on a mega site. You're unlikely to ever have a mega site in the Delta because we all share a, a labor shed. And could we meet the demands of an Amazon? No. We're more concentrated a little bit on micro manufacturing. I don't think it's necessarily the state of Mississippi or the utilities have anything against the Delta. I think it's just more or less we have not found that right size um, sector or industry that would be perfect here. What lawmakers and Birch want is equity in Governor Reeves' economic vision. The only way we really can rid uh, this region of poverty is through equitable economic opportunities. Almost uh, 20,000 acres out here that's available. So economic development could happen here. How are we going to level on everybody? How are we going to include everyone in workforce development systems, post-secondary systems, and livable wage economies?